بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه جمعين أما بعد so الحمد لله I'm standing here uh, next to this building the church uh, which uh, soon إن شاء الله we're going to have as a, a space uh, you know for uh, Cambridge Islamic College and for a long time we have been making effort the to teach islam properly because what happens is uh, very often the islam is taught uh, by muslims or by non muslims uh, but uh, mostly in the culture of muslims or certain habits that muslims have been you know, following but islam as a religion as a path of guidance for the people uh, it it uh, always have been or mostly have been missed by muslims and non muslims both when they teaching so through this college <coughs> our, our intention is that make people to understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, through Arabic language and through the original sources properly and, uh, uh, and to make uh, effort to think and to understand and to go deeper uh, in, in the message uh, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we want to make uh, this, uh, uh, this message available for all the Muslims you know, without any difference between you know, any sect or any group so it will be, uh, you know, uh, it will offering uh, you know, uh, the, the place uh, or the, uh, uh, for, for all Muslims, you know, from any madhab and from, uh, from any school. Similarly, we don't have any, uh, we have full intention not to make any difference uh, between the genders. So it will be, you know, easily, uh, equally accessible to both Muslim, uh, men and women both. And uh, our plan is in, uh, that, uh, like Panapur, the first year, uh, uh, we will have going to have tw uh, 50 students, so 25 male students, 25 female students. So similarly, the next year, the meaning is every year in the college we will have around 50 men and 15 women uh, studying properly equally from the same teachers. And similarly, we are thinking to make it uh, in, uh, uh, accessible to Muslims and non-Muslims both at the same time. So if anybody in, in Cambridge, whether from the university or from uh, outside the university, they want to learn any subject which is taught in the college and they easily can you know, come and, uh, and that they can get admission. We don't make a distinction on the, you know, on the basis of uh, religion or any race or any color. So Alhamdulillah, now this uh, uh, you know, plan or this project which we had for a long time in mind, it, it is uh, becoming easier uh, once we have uh, uh, this building. So Alhamdulillah, we have got time and we hope, inshallah, by, uh, by the beginning of December to have enough uh, money which we can pay uh, to, to, to get uh, uh, this building. Uh, and no doubt this project is uh, it only possible with the help of you know, all the Muslims, and not only Muslims, all the people who are interested in the education uh, and learning uh, f you know, for, for, for all the people. Uh, so uh, I, I pray and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us uh, to, to use this property properly for education, for tarbiya, uh, and for men and women, and for everybody who wants to benefit, is, benefit from us, from us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yeah, and also one thing is important is since uh, uh, this uh, you know, college is going to be established in, uh, in, the, in, in Cambridge, so it will help us uh, to benefit from long tradition of scholarship uh, of the University of Cambridge. No doubt, you know, Islam never has any, any prejudice to anything wisdom and good. You know, we, if we can benefit and learn from other people, we can learn. So once we are you know, in this environment of scholarship or learning, it will help us to make the same effort of learning and scholarship for Islamic subjects. So when we make any study about Hadith or Quran or Arabic language or Arabic literature, we will actually you know, benefit from, from the efforts around us and we will make effort that the methodology that they follow in the research, we benefit from that or maybe we develop you know, further and, uh, uh, and combine between their methodology and the methodology of the early Muslim scholars like Imam Bukhari and Muslim and people like that and combine between both of them. It is very important to be in a place of learning. It will encourage us and it will be challenging because we know that if we don't have the same standard, they are not going to accept us. So we have to make our effort in a way 
that it can be accepted. Whenever we produce any work or any book, you know, it will not be going read by the people of the University of Cambridge unless it is on, on their standard and on their level. It will push us. It will really make us to make proper effort. Alhamdulillah, if we are here, we can benefit from them. They can benefit from us. And it will really make us not to be lazy, but you know, make full effort uh, you know, to be uh, on the same standard. Our intention in the Cambridge Islamic College is that to bring unity between secular education and between Islamic education. So we don't want people to leave secular education. That's why we have been making effort that people learn Islamic studies and Arabic language part-time until they do A-level. Then after A-level, if they want to you know, be a, a proper Muslim scholar, then they spend two years and they come here and spend two years uh, properly uh, you know, while uh, living in Cambridge and benefiting from the University of Cambridge and envir environment around here, uh, to your properly an intensive uh, uh, course uh, on Arabic language and Islamic studies, and me which means uh, the Quran, the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Fiqh, Islamic history, and also history of uh, the people you know around us, history of uh, you know, uh, Western uh, civilization and uh, Western thoughts and ideas, and also Orientalism. So we learn uh, you know, things uh, properly and then after spending two years we can go, uh, the students can go back to, to pursue their secular education if they want to become doctors, engineers, what they want. So at the same time they have got both education properly. We want the same person to uh, have a combination of both. And while being in, in, in this college, it is not only they study uh, you know, this, uh, this science, they also get proper Islamic tarbiya because we want uh, People, actually, I, I've been emphasizing that we want people uh, to make them wise. Meaning is that you know they learn actually a proper Islamic manner, the characters, and uh, they they learn the thinking uh, and understanding properly. And spirituality, spiritually, they become stronger and the relation to Allah. So it means Islam. We want uh, Islam to be deep in the heart and uh, uh, in the mind of the people who study here. Then they can teach uh, that Islam. Otherwise. In, in our time, mostly Islam has become the name of certain habits and certain forms. forms. We don't want the form, we want actually something within the form and, uh, and the soul uh, put together.